Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, please check out the description box as always. Uh, our beautiful intro, you know, the regular one. Uh, also, you can drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So, there you go. That's what we need to say and we're done. Now, sorry about the long, kind of slow video last time. Uh, I made a few errors and a few dum-dums. Because I always do that. And uh, I don't know why you watch my tutorials, but you know, because you do. So I got to fix all the stuff. Basically, what I did was uh, the timer here was set to 0.F in the reset. You want to make sure you set it to animation timer so that the first frame of any animation that starts is always goes directly into this. Doesn't wait for the timer first to let the old animations frame kind of hang along for a while. What it will do then is it will instantly switch to the new animation and then the timer will start working so that's what we want so just go ahead and switch this in animation component h in the actually actual uh, animation class so just go ahead and do that right in the reset here um and then we have our percentage here we're going to play around with that just in a second but i found another error that i had from the last video and that is that i in this other play function that we made with the modifier and stuff for animation component I didn't really use these to uh, modify, modify max here in my animations play function. So I didn't send them in. So we're still using the old one for animation here. We're still using this old one here, which is static. So this one is a little more modified. Um, yeah, so there you go. That is, uh, that is one thing. One thing else that we might want to do is for this we might not want to send in modifier and modifier max because we might want a percentage here directly so we can check it so it's not too small because after I fix these problems let me show you what happens just real quick uh, let me turn that down so what happens it becomes a little too jittery kind of which we don't like so if I run this mm, I'm just gonna show you real quick See, here's our animation working fine. See, it, it is working with the velocity, but it gets slower and stuff, but it is kind of a little jittery, and I don't want that. And it's not working to the left because it's negative. Um, so we need to do some kind of absolute value on that. Uh, so, so see, it is it is working, kind of, but it's not for the negatives, and it's too jittery. So what I want to do, first step, First step, for the animation component, make sure you do have modifier and modifier max, okay? But when we send it into animations play in this function, make sure you just, you don't do that. You do this, okay? Remove the comma and just do the calculation right in here, okay? And say divided by, because that is going to send in a percentage instead. We just want one thing. Now go back to animation component and your animation class. And the second play function that we created, remove one of these and just say const float percentage. Okay. Uh, or mod percent. Just call it mod percent. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we're going to do a little if. Now it's going to load like crazy for some damn reason. I hate this stupid, stupid hard drive. Um, my external hard drive. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to check the percentage uh, to be less, to, to have kind of a minimum value, okay? So if mod percent is less, no, what am I doing? If mod percent is less than 0.5F, I guess 0.5 is a pretty small number. Uh, but you know it's half, so it's it's okay. Mod percent equals zero point five f. So that's gonna be our minimum, okay? And so it's not allowed to be less than zero point five. And it is a const float. So what we want to do is actually not have it a const here. Just a float mod percent. It's very cheap to copy, actually, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, what I would like to do is use a heavy percentage 
in animation that actually gets the copy of this. But you know what? It doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's such a small thing. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, uh, mod percent like that. We'll just send it in. We need to change that in the... Oh no, we don't need to change it anywhere. It's fine. So we're just going to send this in. It doesn't matter. And we will actually change it if if required right here. So there you go. There you go. Now it won't be less than 0 0.5. So if we just try this, and then we're going to fix it for the left and the right. Make sure we uh, absolute that value, which we probably want to do. Make sure this isn't negative. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so see how it's not getting too slow and the animation isn't too sluggish? That is kind of what we want. And if we really speed it up, uh, we're going to get a nice, you know, just, it's just going to look good. It's going to look better. So you go. That is a that is a good way to make sure you can change the animation speed with some real time uh, dynamic variable. So that's perfect. Now we got to change the uh, the uh, let's see abs absolute. I think we can use abs, and it will just make sure that it makes it the value absolute. I think it. Uh, does the power of two thing and then it yeah now it's working it does the power of two thing and then it um yeah uh, what do you call it that damn shit help me out guys you do power of two to a value that is negative then it removes the negation and then you square root that bitch there you go perfect square root that shit that's what we do oops i don't want to show you my emails okay we're good there you go. Now we got a nice type of animation thing going. And I just saw that I actually do want to increase that. So if we go to player.cpp, where we create this, let's just set that to 7 to make it a little faster. And the idle might be a little too fast. Just going to slow that down a little bit. And the attack, maybe I'll make it a little faster. Who cares? So there you go. Now we got ourselves a working modifier here. Um, now what we're going to work on next in the animation component is going to be that priority thing. So we don't have a lot of time in this video, but we want to actually set the priority to something. And the animation component is going to take care of that. So it's going to know which one, which, um, uh, which animation is being played, which has priority. Okay. Uh, so where is this damn... Let's close that down. So we have last animation here. And we have we need an animation priority animation like that. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We need a priority animation. And we're going to just set it to null pointer. And we're going to try to work with that. Priority animation equals null. All right, and then we're going to have to, when we play something, we're going to have to say, is this a priority or is this not a priority? If it is, then we're going to set this priority component, this prior priority animation to the one being played. And we're going to check in every other animation that if, if it, there is a priority animation set, we're not going to play the, play the new one, basically. Um, so I, I actually, I would, I would like that a lot. Like attack would be a great thing for a priority component, uh, priority animation. So to do that, we have that. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe this is a okay way to do it. I'm not sure. We're going to have to check it out in the coming videos. Actually, I'm going to have to test it around a little bit, but I'm still going to make a a any animation pointer oh no we're gonna make a const boolean const boolean priority how do you spell it priority 
equals false. So we're just going to set that to false in each of these as default. Because, yeah, we probably don't want anything, everything to be priority. We want it to switch, switch it up as we would like. Um, and then we obviously we got to do this in the H file as well. Like that. So there we go. We got a nice little uh, animation component going. Pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. I did want to work on tile and stuff, and we're gonna start that just in a minute. But I, I just want to see if this can I can get this to work. So because it's pretty important. Uh, but there you go. Let's just run it one last time, see if everything works, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next one probably. So let's just see. Also, I need to fix the buttons because they're kind of weird. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at this! Look at this, guys! We got an error like after a hundred times. Uh, redefinition of default argument. Oh yeah, we don't need the default argument redefinitions. I might want to keep them in the H file. Uh, remove them here. Don't don't forget that, or you're gonna get issues just like I did. Now if we run it, maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. New game. Working just fine. Now you can tweak these as you want yourself. See how the animation is a little smoother? So you can tweak these as you want yourself and it's gonna be great for you. I mean the speeds of the animations and stuff, whatever you want. Also the modifier minimum, you can change it as you want. Um, anything you wanna do. So don't feel, you know, locked to this code. I know a lot of you don't, but uh, for those of you who do, play around with it, see what you think looks better. Use a different sprite sheet try to customize it, try to learn, you know, try to see what the hell's going on. So, so that's uh, it's a lot way better way to learn. But there you go, guys and girls. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Please check out the description box, all that stuff. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.